Welcome back to 30 Days of Lightroom. We are here in Adobe Lightroom Classic. And in this video, we're gonna cover how to flag your images, how to set color labels, and how to add ratings in order to narrow down or cull your images down to your top select photos. So we use the term culling a lot when it comes to photo editing, and it basically means narrowing down your photos to your top shots. And I highly recommend you watch our organizational video because our collections and our collection sets will definitely come in handy later on. And that's because rating your photos, adding color labels, and flagging your photos is really all about organization. So this is like a part two to our organization video. So highly recommend you watch that video, but let's get right into this tutorial. So why do we need to add ratings and color labels to our photo? Really organization as we talked about before. On this photo shoot, I took 936 photos. That is a lot, that is a lot of images to keep organized, but I can tell you all of my favorite images just by selecting and filtering through my rated images. You can see here, these are my top 32 images out of 936. These are the ones that I wanna put in my portfolio, put on Instagram, and publish and share with people. I don't really care about those other 910 images. These are my top shots that I really care about, and I don't wanna lose these. So it's important to stay organized. You can see over here, I have collections with all of my top shots, and I slowly narrow down or slowly cull that collection down to my top shots. So let's talk about rating and flagging and adding color labels to our image. We can either right click and set flag, set rating, or set color label. We can also use shortcuts on the keyboard, such as one, two, three, four, and five for adding ratings or stars. We can also use six, seven, eight, and nine to add color labels. And we can also use X on the keyboard to reject an image, P on the keyboard to pick an image, or U to remove that flag. So you can also see that little flag here to flag an image. You can see our star values for ratings. And if I were to assign a color, such as yellow or red, you can see that little box comes up around our image and labels it as red. I can also hit six again on the keyboard to remove that red label. So after you've gone through your images and assigned values, ratings, or colors to the images you like, you can go ahead and use this little filter bar down here, which is extremely helpful for narrowing these photos down. And once you've narrowed your photos down, you can create a new collection, such as one here I call Top Shots or One Star Photos or Edits, and I can instantly click and drag these images into a new collection and be even more organized. So let's talk about this filter bar right here. If I want to, for example, show all of my images that are flagged, all of my images that are rejected, all of my images that have been edited or unedited, I can again click to turn those off. Right now I'm showing all images you can see here that are three stars and above. I can change that to only three stars or equal to or less than three stars. And I can also show all images that have color labels right here. So once I go ahead and I rate my images, that's the way I recommend to cull your images. I will go through all of my images once. Everything that is a passable image, I'll usually give about one star. Images that I really like, I'll go through again and give two stars. And my favorite images, I will give three stars. And that's usually about the top maybe 5% of my photos. Then I will go ahead, I will filter by all of my three star images and I will put those in a new collection. So that is how I personally use ratings in conjunction with collections to organize my photos and keep my top shots all together. I will typically use color labels when I'm shooting panoramas, for example. So maybe if I have a five shot panorama, I will label all of the five shots red so that I know those shots go together. And maybe I'll have another five or six shots that go to a different panorama. I will label those maybe yellow or blue so that I know those shots will be stitched together later. So that is really everything you need to know about color labels, flags, and ratings. I hope you learned something in this video. And again, be sure to watch my video on organization so you get a better understanding of collections and how to stay organized. 
If you like this video, be sure to hit thumbs up, subscribe, and of course, share this playlist with a friend. Until next time, get out and go shoot.